All right, I got to apologize to you guys, but uh, I somehow or another did not record the audio for this, so I'm recording this track and going to do a voiceover of everything. And first thing first, I want to thank you guys and tell you about the cool thing I have right in front of me. It is the Allen & Heath ZED, or Z6, mixer, and... Uh, we're going to do a uh, unboxing of it. It's a, a mixer we're going to use for a upcoming gig when I was recording this, and I've had since used such a uh, mixer, and it actually works out really well. It's got some uh, nicely packed package. The box came very, very um, well packed. It wasn't moving around inside. You know, sometimes you grab packages of equipment and stuff moves around. And it was uh, delivered uh, from our friends at Sweetwater. Uh, so it was a box inside of a box, so that box was pretty safe. But still, the uh, mixer itself was pretty uh, well packed and really lightweight. And that's one thing I liked about it because the gig we were doing, using it for was uh, up uh, technically on a third floor is this it's a second floor of a building but it's equal to a third floor of most buildings uh for this uh gig and it was just great uh having this little mixer there uh able to plug in a uh, controller into it and plug in a microphone right into it and it was great and again it's the allen and heath zed or z6 um you know i know the uh the brits and some Europeans like saying, instead of the word Z, they like saying Z. But uh, as an American, I'm, I like saying Z, not Z. So to me, it's the Z6, but uh, they actually have it spelled on the side of the box, Z-E-D-Z-6. Uh, and uh, no, it's not the uh, the DJ-Z. Uh, and go through some stuff here, um, going through the box, and... It was uh, not outrageously expensive. So now i am got the top-down view, as you can see here in my desk. And uh, I don't have tons of room here, so and I have a little bit of uh, towels next to me and stuff like that. And my little mess there. And um, you can also see uh, that next to me, the top of my, uh, my desktop computer and my mouse and keyboards. Uh, Safety first, always use a nice safety knife to open up your box. And uh, I, I'm showing the uh, model number, and uh, it has a serial number in there, but that doesn't matter on there. It's the uh, Allen Heath ZED 6, and uh, has a little information on the side right there. Now I'm opening a box up here, and uh, very very easy simple to do and if you could do me a favor while I'm opening the box up if you can click that like button that you enjoyed me opening this box up um, we greatly appreciate it and again if you can also follow and subscribe to the channel be also awesome as well and you can see opening the box up it is a uh, very very well packed and I moved the camera a little bit there. And it has like egg crates that was holding the sides on. And uh, I fish out here. I got to move this back. I fish out the owner's manual, which I still have. And I did go through the owner's manual and get myself familiarized with uh, the unit. Always read your owner's manual. That's probably the, one of the smartest things to do. Then uh, I got the unit out and... Got the power cord right there. Unfortunately, it is not a IEC cord, which I was hoping it was, but it is not an IEC cord, but it is a commercial grade power cord. And then again, you can see the like kind of egg crate kind of material there to hold the sides of the unit. Um, again, very lightweight, uh, very, very nice. Uh, the knobs work really accurately. They're, they're knobs, not uh, sliders. I prefer sliders more, but it does have one slider for the main. 
And again, the packaging on from Allen and Heath, they, they did a heck of a job in packaging everything. And even the tape right here, which is really strong, I used the uh, knife to uh, cut it open. And uh, pull out this wonderful uh, little mixer out. And it's nice, compact. It has two XLRs, uh, two quarter inch, and you can do quarter inch stereo, which is nice. You have also phantom power on the unit. Uh, it does have the meters, left and right meters, so you can actually see what you have in output. Uh, each one has a volume on the bottom is your main. They have on top um, uh, for compressor, and then each one has a high and low. So there's no three-way EQ on it, which I wish it had a three-way EQ, a you know, high, low, mid. But still, it worked really fine for what we're doing it for with a microphone. And it has XLR out, which is what... I wanted to have. I wanted to have some XLR out. That's why I'm showing that. Uh, some of the small mixers only have like quarter inch out. And again, it has the meters to tell you that, you know, where you're at with volume. You don't want to go and start clipping. You have a knob separate for the headphones. And again, each channel has its own volume control. So you can control that uh, each, uh, each one. So it's nice. The knobs actually feel really good, really sturdy. They're not uh, weak. They really feel very stout. The uh, unit itself, as far as uh, the bobbin unit, has nice little rubber feet, which also uh, help with, so they don't slide around on any kind of surface. And you also have, uh, basically you could turn on so you can hear that channel on the headphone right there. So if you want to hear that channel and pre-hear it without bringing the volume up so you can hear what you're broadcasting that channel, you can, or listen to what you're broadcasting that channel, uh, you can. And the, the nice thing also about it is uh, the fan of power is uh, in the first couple. Now, the thing is that the, the bad part is that it's not a combination uh, XLR and quarter inch, it's just XLR and there's quarter inch right below it. So technically if you just want to do quarter inch, let's say a bunch of instruments, you wanted to do three instruments and one microphone, you could do that very easily. So you get like, you know, a guitar, bass guitar, and a second guitar into a microphone. You can do that very easily or a keyboard um, if you want quarter inch out into that. And again, uh, the channel two, I'm sorry, channel three, channel four, those quarter inches will do stereo, so you can have a quarter inch come out each side. So if you want like RCA to quarter inch, or you want XLR uh, XLR to quarter inch, you can easily do that and have something that uh, is just easy to deal with. You don't have to worry about reinventing the wheel, and it gives you some versatility on connecting uh, to the mixer for outputs. The um, other thing also when using it, uh, I notice that the volume is very sensitive in a good way, so you can hear what's going on. Power switch in the back, uh, you have the uh, plug right there for your power. Again, I wish it was IEC, because I have everything IEC. You do have also uh, for a lock, if you want to put a lock through it and lock it so no one else can use it. And then again, look for the rubber feet in the bottom, which are nice to have, so that way it doesn't slide around. It's actually really, really nice and really sturdy. And you can see I'm moving the, the camera a little bit. It uh, it does not want to move around. So that, that's a good thing. And the other nice thing also with it is that it's actually kind of slanted. I know you can't really see too well here, but it does have a slant to it. And it makes it much easier to use. And I was using it, you know, for volume control and sound control very heavily on... Uh, the last gig, and I'm going to use it again in a few gigs coming up now for um, in the future, and it, it, it's great. Alan, Alan Heath did a great job on this mixer, and I would definitely would uh, after using, I would definitely would recommend if you need a small couple channel mixer, this is kind of the thing you want to go to, especially with the weight. If you are looking to save weight, you don't want to have a lot of space. You want something that uh, 
you want to control a microphone or you want to control uh, an instrument uh, or you want to control your controller um, if you go uh, a single XLR if you want to go left and right XLR out you can and control your controller and make that very easily but I'd like for a plug again I wish it was IEC but they have still have a grounded plug to give uh, professional power so it's something that you know I can live with and something I can work very heavily with and it's not really long it's probably you know uh, a five foot plug a four foot plug so it's not outrageously long but that's okay because you know again where I'm using this at it's not like I'm you know running you know 20 feet to an outlet I'm going to run this into a uh, a power strip and have the power filtered before it even goes to the mixer. Uh, Furman power strips have a nice little filter in there and they also have some protection in there as well so you're not going to damage your equipment. You don't want to damage your gear. The other thing also is that um, with everything you have here in the package, again, it's very simple. It was, you know, after I read the owner's manual, I was basically able to up and run it in no time. It was... Uh, very very um, easy to deal with and even someone who's not the greatest at audio can use this and have a very very uh, easily um, facilitate uh, sound out of it and just you know monitor what's going on the uh, the big thing I look for the packaging was awesome you know this this a crate material here you're seeing uh, was just great and it really uh, protected it and again the owner's manual read your owner's manual folks it is just I can't tell you how much information there is on there there's a lot of, you know warnings and so forth and so on explain to you you know don't get it wet and you know how that <laughs> not get reduced for shock and so forth and which is you know some more common sense stuff but it also t explains you how things work what the knobs do and what you want to use for things the thing is that you don't want to do is you know not have this with you so uh, I you know I read through it and again it's it's not a really crazy mixer with additional features you know uh, with you know effects and stuff like that but it, it, it's great and again I just want to Thank you. Again, I apologize that the uh, sound was not captured for a reason. And uh, <laughs> if you guys have any questions, that's, that's the owner's manual again. It's an Allen Heath. It's a ZED6. If you guys have any questions as far as anything, please, you can put it down below. Make sure any critiques, comments, criticisms, anything like that, you can put it down below. You know, I'm always glad to uh, read that, and I appreciate it. And appreciate your feedback and appreciate you watching this uh, review for this uh, and unboxing for this uh, uh, mixer and it, it's like I said before it's it's a, it's a great mixer um, I would definitely would say it's something that uh, if you're looking for that nice little niche mixer that uh, you can very easily use um, for a couple again uh, a microphone or a couple of instruments or even a controller and you want to plug a quarter inch in for a microphone, yeah, it, it's 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 great. Uh, if you want to go quarter uh, you know, XLR to a quarter inch, or you want to go RCA to a quarter inch and plug into uh, channel three or channel four, you can very easily do that, and it's not hard to deal with. And again, I, I appreciate you guys sitting through this and you guys listening to me talk about um, everything here on the, this this unboxing of this. Uh, Ellen Heath ZED6 and if you're watching this and you see my voice not matching up again like like I said before I, <laughs> I did a bonehead move and didn't record the uh, audio for this and it, it's great but again if you can like the channel if you can follow the channel subscribe as well as uh, you know give me critiques comments down below hit that like button and you know I appreciate it. if you could, any of that stuff right there, it'd be great. And if someone else is uh, watching this, and if you want to uh, throw a little joke in here, if you made it this far, 
uh, do me a favor down below. Say, oh man, buddy, I didn't know that uh, that controller, that, that mixer, I'm going to say controller, that mixer can do that. I didn't know it, it had that kind of trick. It, it, it's, it's an awesome mixer for with that kind of trick in there. So, you know, we can play a little trick of the people that want to fast forward and not watch the whole thing. But if you can do that, it'd be great. I appreciate you guys. Thanks a lot. And I appreciate it so much. Bye-bye.